Now back to Pfizer's coronavirus vaccine with it receiving emergency use authorization. It looks like there will likely be enough doses in this first phase to cover all the frontline workers at the Penrose St. Francis hospitals in town. In a one on one interview today, their chief medical officer revealed how they plan to administer the vaccine quickly and whether patients will have a say in which company's vaccine they receive. KRDO News Channel 13's Lauren Varnas is at Penrose St. Francis tonight after speaking to Dr. Bill Plouth. About 2,000 Pfizer vaccines are destined for the Penrose St. Francis hospitals as soon as next week. 1,100 Moderna vaccines are expected to follow. The good news, staff in close contact with COVID-19 patients should get a vaccine if they want one. Between the Pfizer and Moderna, um, we expect to be able to cover all of them. Dr. Bill Plouth expects 70 to 90 percent of employees to say yes to the vaccine. The CDC has not yet released what percentage of people need to get it to have herd immunity against the virus, clarifying that the 3,000 doses of the vaccine slated for Penrose hospitals is just the first shot. Both Pfizer and Moderna require a second shot three or four weeks after the first. We are administering the entirety of the first um, allotment of uh, the Pfizer vaccine. We'll do the same with Moderna as we know that we'll have um, more shipments and more um, allocation coming later. According to the state of Colorado, the Pfizer vaccine needs to be administered within five days of thawing. Is that um, possible? I guess, for the amount of staff that will need it on the first phase. Well, it does mean that there could be a lot of a lot of staff, including myself, uh, providing the vaccine to others. And so we simply plan for it. Moderna says its vaccine has a much longer shelf life. And with options, will the average Coloradan have a say in which vaccine they take when the time comes? Plouth says it depends. I, th I think it all really depends on availability, but, but certainly you know, whenever there's an option for patient choice, we fully support that and, and certainly uh, support transparency. Dr. Plouth answered several other vaccine questions about clinical trials on children and the possibility of an allergic reaction to the vaccine. You can watch the full 14 minute interview right now on KRDO.com. Reporting in Colorado Springs, Lauren Barnes, KRDO News Channel 13.